I've got an amazing guitar to show you today. Now, I just got this guitar, and usually when I get a brand new guitar, it takes me a few weeks or usually even a few months to where I get around to doing a review of it. But this guitar, as soon as I plugged it in and listened to it, I wanted to do this video and tell you guys about it right away. All right, guys, this is the Schecter Sun Valley Super Shredder FRS. This guitar's construction combined with the electronics of the sustainer set up the Sustainiac system here, along with the active EMG pickup here. It just has this amazing, thick, warm, organic sound. And then you can get these incredible sounds out of it because of the sustainer setup that just pushes it over the top. Now, as far as the construction goes, it's using some of my favorite materials. We've got a mahogany body, maple neck, and an ebony fretboard. Now, with the neck here, we've got 24 extra jumbo frets. These are really, really nicely finished. It's a 25 and a half inch scale length, which is what you'd expect to find on a Super Strat style guitar. And the neck shape is kind of a nice, uh, kind of a thinner C-shaped neck. Now, this guitar has active pickups, and it also has the sustainer system in it. So, this guitar actually runs off of two 9-volt batteries. You've got two different compartments right there on the back. The bridge pickup is the EMG Retroactive Hot 70, and that's a really cool name, but the pickup itself sounds amazing. Like I said, it has this sort of, sort of warm, organic thickness to it, where it still has a lot of clarity, but it has a really great kind of, uh, kind of mid-range push to it. That, combined with the literally infinite sustain that you can get with a Sustainiac setup, and the different harmonics that it can create with these different modes that you activate with these mini switches down here. It just gives it just, just some amazing tones. Now the best thing about it is that this guitar is still pretty affordable considering what you're getting. These guitars only cost $7.99. Uh, as always, I'll put some links in the video description below if you want to check out where you can get one. Now the bridge here is a Floyd Rose Special. Uh, they've done a really good job with it. It stays in tune really well. And the arm here, it has a push-in tremolo arm rather than the screw-in ones that some of the other Floyd specials have. The guitar has a nice weight to it. It's not really what I would consider heavy, but it's a little bit heavier than what you'd expect with a typical Strat weight, I think just because of the bridge and the added electronics and of course it being a mahogany body. Uh, it, to me, this just offhand, this guitar feels like it's about seven and a half pounds, right in that range. All right guys, now I'll give you some playing clips in just a second here, but one thing I really want to point out is with the sustainer setup, You've got this mode switch here, this sort of inner switch with three different modes where you can have it sustain just the existing note that you're playing or you can add these really, really nice high harmonics. And then you've got the, the kind of middle position mode which mixes the two sounds together. And you can actually switch that while you're playing to create these really cool harmonics that kind of go in and out. All right, now guys, I really want you to hear more of how this guitar sounds. So let's go ahead and plug it in and take a listen.
All right, guys, now something I want to point out about this guitar, they make several different versions of it. This is the, uh, the FRS, which has the Floyd Rose and the Sustainer, and then this is in the Riviera Blue color. They also have a few other versions of the same guitar where you can get it without the Sustainer setup and in several other colors. This model is the most expensive version, and this one's only $7.99. The other ones are even less. I love the sound of this guitar, of course, the unique tones and sort of phrasing that you can get with the sustainer system, but even just with a sustainer, you know, not, uh, not turned on, the guitar has such a, such a nice kind of woody kind of, uh, kind of mid-range pushed sound to it. Now, I think the only downside to this guitar is you don't want to run out of batteries. It takes two 9 volts to power all the electronics in this guitar the active bridge pickup, and then also the sustainer setup. And you don't want to leave it plugged in because that will leave all the circuits activated. So even if the guitar is just sitting there, if the cable is plugged into it, it will run the batteries down. So I always want to make sure you unplug these when you're not playing. Now, I would love to hear what you guys thought of the tones that I got from this guitar and just the overall look of it. I really love this, this blue color. It's different. It's just on the edge of being obnoxious and attention-getting sort of 80s style but it's still like a nice sort of pleasant color to look at. Definitely check out the links below and check out some of the other colors that the guitar is available in. And also I'll put some other links down there too for like my instructional video and all my social media. That guitar honestly is rapidly becoming one of my favorite, one of my go-to guitars. As soon as I plugged it in and just listened to how it sounded, it, it kind of blew me away. All right guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.